A substitute teacher working at Belton Middle School for only one week is charged with several counts of sexual misconduct involving students. He allegedly sent graphic photos of himself and is also accused of molesting a child under the age of 12. Court records show 42 year old Jason Carey was arrested after the principal contacted law enforcement, saying an eighth grader received pictures from Carey. According to online documents, Carey was certified to be a substitute teacher in Missouri September 7th. Just two weeks later, he's now in police custody. This news, no doubt, a shock to that community. Brian Madrick has been in Belton all day. He joins us live with more. Brian. We wanted to look into the criminal history behind this guy to see if there was anything serious. Police tell me there's no prior felonies and only traffic tickets. Obviously, he's facing very serious charges tonight, and that's why he's locked up with no bond. From the schoolhouse to the jailhouse, this former substitute teacher is in hot water. Jason Carey is accused of sending sexually explicit messages, showing pornography, even touching young girls. Um, it's just shocking because I feel like we have a good community. That community is now buzzing over the news, including grandparent Tara Wilson. And it's sad that that's what our kids have to worry about these days. You know, it's not like, oh, who am I going to play with today? Or, you know, am I going to get my homework done? Or who's my next date? So it's, it's sad. Earlier this week, the Bowen School District emailed parents and caregivers telling them Carrie worked as a sub through a third party vendor at the time of the allegations, but previously worked in the district school age child care program. A district spokesperson says anyone working in the district has to pass background checks. Despite the news, Wilson still has faith the district can protect her grandkids. And we just got to believe in that process. And unfortunately, you know, sometimes they do slip through the crack. Police say they were tipped off from an eighth grader in the middle school. Their message to parents, talk to your kids. So have these open, honest conversations with your kids. Let them know not to be afraid to come forward in, in these times. And if there is anything that constitutes criminal activity, reach out to local law enforcement. Bottom line, see something, say something. Now, police say that their investigation is still in the early stages, and they add that Carrie could possibly face even more charges. Putting it live in Belton, Bryant Madrick, KSHB 41 News.